Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Jara and I make videos about lifestyle, fashion, faith, and a bunch of other fun stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Okay guys, so it's that time of the year for some of us. <laughs> it is the holiday season for sure, but I know some people are like very much against decorating for Christmas early. So if you're one of those people, maybe wait till after Thanksgiving to watch this video so that you can be really in the Christmas spirit um, and decorate with me. <laughs> so, so sorry if you don't like early Christmas stuff, but I love Christmas so much and I wanna enjoy it as much as I can. So I like to start now, that way we have at least a couple months to enjoy all the Christmas stuff. So um, I already have my tree up. We put it up last night, just did the lights and the tree topper so far. Um, that's gonna be hard to show. I'll show you in a second. But um, we do a lot of our Christmas decorations together, me and Richard, and Cove is coming home tomorrow. But I just kind of do the basics, like the base of it, and then we kind of build from there. So I only have a limited time tonight to get some stuff done because um, we are going to get Cove in the morning for a weekend, but I need to try to get as much done as I can. So I don't even know what Christmas stuff I have from last year, but come along with me, let's decorate my apartment for Christmas. So this is the base that we're starting with. We put up the tree last night and we just did the lights and the tree topper. So that's all we've done so far. And probably I'm gonna start with the garland and the ornaments, like the some of the basic ones. So let's go. Okay, I just opened my first tote and these are mainly like my little figurines and animals and stuff that I sit out. Um, and this little present, decorative present for the tree. And then these are like little table decorations. Um, I think I wanna start with the tree though and then come back to do these last. This little snowman's so cute, he sits outside our door. Okay, first things first, I wanna do my garland, which is wow. I have these really cute wooden beads that I use as garland. I don't remember how many of these I have. One, two, three. Okay. I have three of them, so I need to figure out how I'm going to lay it then. That is a cute garland to start. Okay, I remember I had like berries um, and things like that. I don't think that's what this is. This is also a cute little table decor thing that says peace and it has the nativity. I'm gonna save that for the end like the rest of it. I guess the rest of my ornaments are in the next box. Let's go look. I have like some fillers and stuff. Oof, somewhere. Maybe in here. I have a bunch of little sparkly snowflakes. Those are cute. So I didn't even tell you guys like my Christmas aesthetic, but I think what I really love is like, um, about these. Hold on, I have to show you these first and then I'll tell you. These are little acorns. How beautiful. Um, <laughs> get distracted already, but my aesthetic for Christmas is like kind of traditional, almost, not fully, but I love the woodland feel and winter wonderland esque. Um, I do mostly neutrals with gold and like stuff like that, but also some pops of red and green, so yeah, that's my that's my aesthetic for Christmas that I've grown to love. These little acorns are such good little fillers that are so cute. Aww. <laughs> 
me and <laughs> Richard, um, my mom got this for me and Richard last year for our first Christmas together. I'm pretty sure, I thought that we put the year on it somewhere, but I guess not. Oh, I forgot about this. We got a ornament on our honeymoon. I don't know why I keep walking away because maybe I should just push you guys a little closer so you can see me easier. Um, we got an ornament in Hawaii on our honeymoon that was wooden and I forgot about it. I like ornaments that like remind you of memories. A special time and everything. Also, we have this one for Coda Beer, the year he was born, 2020. I painted it. The dog already looks pretty similar to him, but I painted it to look like exactly like him. <laughs> and I love that one. It's so cute. It says 2020 on the license plate. <laughs> okay, a lot of these are like ornament ornaments, so I'm gonna save most of these for all of us to do later. And then I also have some little ones that I think we'll probably use on Cove's tree this year because we got him a little tree for his room. And these little animal ones for his room. Alexa, play Christmas music. Oh no, we can't. Because I'm gonna talk to you guys and I'll get copyrighted. That's sad. Alexa, off. Oh, these are beautiful. I literally forgot about like every ornament we ever bought last year because last year was our first um, Christmas in our own apartment together. We just got married that year. So we had to get everything last year, the tree, all of it, which I'm grateful for now. We don't have to do that this year, but we bought all of the ornaments and everything last year. And I forgot about these. Look how pretty these gold ones are. Really beautiful snowflakes again. I really wish our tree was is it called flocked where it looks like it's snowed on because i think that's beautiful but maybe once we have our house we will so look how pretty this one is oh cute these ones are actual little like pine cones i love the pine cone look cute and some like frosted looking ones that are stuck to the back there we go pretty I don't have much time, y'all. I gotta get moving. I was looking for these berries to start off with, which I love these. These are so pretty. These are from um, ah, Hobby Lobby. We got them last year and they look like frosted berries. Like, tell me that is not, I don't know if that's focusing, but tell me that's not the most beautiful thing to add to your tree. I love that. This is not something to have to hurry through, is it? Bad mistake on my part. three grandparents who have passed away now and last year we bought these wooden angel wings and wrote their names on the back of each of them and I completely forgot about that and that's really sweet. I might go ahead and put on these angels. They're so pretty. I love them. They were also from Hobby Lobby. Who do we want to put pretty angels? I'm gonna wait on them. Just kidding. I'm waiting. These snowflakes that I love, I'm going to wait till the end after we all finish. Um, that way we can kind of use them as filler here and there where it looks kind of blank. And there's glitter everywhere. Okay. I feel like now I just need to, I don't have much time. I got the tree done, at least this part. I need to start doing the rest of the little woodland animals and stuff. Um, I need to put away some of my spring stuff first. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so this is one of those very nostalgic um, Christmas memories. When I was growing up, my granny had this little mailbox um, that she would sit outside of our playroom and it says Margie's mailbox, her name, after she passed away. 
it was left to me. So now um, for the first year I get to leave it outside my son's room. So that's really sweet and nostalgic. Sometimes she'd leave little treats and stuff in here for us, so I'll probably do the same. But I just wanted to share that sweet memory with you guys. Okay, so let me show you guys what we're working with here. <laughs> I have this giant like frosted leaf thing that I have a couple ideas for. I could either put it like under here around the entertainment center or on top of the bookshelf. Either one of those would be cute. I'm probably gonna see how both of them look. Then I have all my little woodland creatures. <laughs> cute little polar bear. She's cute, I love her. She's very frosted, she has some jewels on. We love her. Similar vibes is the little deer. I'm probably gonna put some of these in Cove's room too. And the fox, which is, might be my favorite, so cute. I also have this little snowman. Um, an owl, <laughs> which kind of cracks me up, but it's very woodland. Maybe it'll go on top of the bookshelf with my leaf. <laughs> Then I have a little raccoon who's very cute with his little pine cone and this little bear holding up a cream of tree. Grandma Grandma. I also have, oh, starting to fall. I also have this little reindeer my mom gave to me when I was a kid. And she gave me a little, where'd it go? A little reindeer like bucket. That's the course. I'll probably sit him in there. I'm not sure where I'm putting him yet, but let's try to figure it out. Okay guys, so I have to go um, because I have to go to a family thing, but I wanted to kind of show you the process, the progress. <laughs> I want to show you the progress I've made so far. Ended up putting a little reindeer right there. Um, he might be moved, who knows. But there's a little present. Here's more of a close up of how the tree looks without most of the ornaments still. Also, I have this little round like decorative box under there. On the mantle, I put these two little guys down here, some frosted leaves. This looks dusty, doesn't it? Ew. Don't look at that. <laughs> the little piece nativity scene, pine cone, this little guy. And then on my record player right here, I put the little deer, two little trees, and some pine cones and leaves. Also, I had a little macrame hanging here, but I replaced it with this just for the season and I thought this is really pretty. Oh, I forgot to tell you over here, I actually made for this for my granny when I was a kid. Hey buddy. Um, and after she passed away, I also, she also left me this. So now I set it out every Christmas. I made this for her back in the day. And every time I look at it, I think of her. But over here, for the bookshelf, I did end up putting the leaf up there and the owl. Um, I think it's cute, I like it. And I put a couple Christmas gnomes here and there, little snowman. Then for Cove's room, I set out the little mailbox and the fox. Um, I didn't do much in his room yet because we're gonna put up his tree together, but I did sit the little um, raccoon and pine cone in here for now. Huh, buddy? I still have to do a good amount of stuff, but I do have to get ready. So I'm gonna do that after I get back home, buddy. Okay, say bye. <laughs> okay, friends, so I just got back from our family thing. Richard's home now from work. There's a dog barking. <laughs> we have new neighbors and they have two dogs that fight a lot, as you can tell. Hopefully you can hear that and I don't sound crazy. So, let's finish decorating the tree together. <laughs> Let me turn it a little bit. Okay, um, I wanna show you guys our reef that we have that's so beautiful. My mom got this for me a couple years ago. It is so pretty. 
And so this is gonna go on our front door. And I wanna show you our new doormat that she got me as well. So let me go grab it, hold on. The tree is pretty much done now. We are gonna add on some more ornaments tomorrow with Ko. Koda is crying in the other room because he wants to be involved, but he hasn't figured out how to hold the ornaments correctly. <laughs> but I wanna show you our doormat my mom got us. It's a gingerbread house. So cute. Um, pretty much all of our decorations are done for the most part. I'll probably add some other things here and there, but you guys get the general, um, what did you say, the general idea of it. But yeah, thank you so much for starting your Christmas decorations with us. We appreciate it. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already, hit that like button. Hope you guys have a great holiday season, a great Thanksgiving. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.